Being delusional is not as easy as you might think it is. It's amazing to watch all those TikTok videos about being delusional. And some people are just naturally good at brainwashing themselves for the better good, so to speak. But it doesn't necessarily come that easy to everybody. You need some time to change your mind, to change the way your thoughts are, to change the subject and direction of your thoughts. So don't beat yourself up. I am a big fan of being delusional. Take it one step at a time. It's not that easy. Now, yes, you can believe that it's easy and you should, but don't beat yourself up if after a few days it becomes overwhelming. That you being delusional does not come to you easily. It's not easy to look at your world and decide to see something else. To look through your eyes, see a reality and decide deliberately to see something else. We've all read Florence Kovalshin, Neville Goddard and all those great people talk about the imaginal world, the four dimension, imagination, whatever you want to call it is more important than what we see. And it is true. Go tell this to your ego not to believe in what it sees. It takes time. It takes practice. So truly, don't beat yourself up. Always aim in this direction to decide what you react to. If you see something you like, of course, you should react positively. But if you react negatively, it's not a problem because you can change it afterwards. Do not think that you are lost because you have been negative for a day, for a week, a month, a year even, a decade, because you can always decide right here, right now to change that but also more importantly be patient and not patient with what you see in your reality that your desire are translated that's not what i mean by being patient by being patient i mean that you are kind towards yourself you are kind and understanding that you cannot always be perfect that you can just cultivate this compassion for yourself and this patience throughout all those practices of the mind that will make you more and more efficient, if you will, at them over time. Please take the time. It's a journey. Enjoy this journey. It does not matter so much to reprogram the subconscious mind. All you need to do is stay in this present moment and try your best to stay in the present moment first and foremost and decide only to feed your mind with positive thoughts, positive emotions, positive visualization. If you just stay in the present moment and accept and allow this present moment, you're good to go. The rest will come very, very easily. That's why meditation and mindfulness are so good as a foundation. If you are grateful for the present moment, or at least if you allow this present to be without doing anything, if you just allow whatever is happening in your mind in this present moment to be, if you accept it, if you allow it, you would be on a different level when it comes to fulfillment and happiness and joy in your life. Then manifestation will come pretty easily after that, especially being delusional.